Hi there, this is Tin Kim Lam, and I write at I'm Not The Nanny. And if you follow me on my blog, you know that I write a lot about Vietnamese food because I'm Vietnamese and I grew up eating it, the food and I love it. So now that I have my own family, I try to cook as much Vietnamese food as possible so that my kids can have a taste of that part of their family culture. Well, shopping for Vietnamese food, uh, Vietnamese groceries does not have to be difficult, okay? So I'm going to share with you some basic things that you need for your pantry. Today we're going to start with condiments. Now, um, condiments are really important. They can be used, you know, just as is in pho or just the top of your sauces. But we're going to talk about the basics and these can be uh, very versatile. You can use them for marinades, for flavoring as you're cooking, and of course, just to put on top of food that you're that's already been cooked to flavor it. All right, so let's get the first one out of the way. The big one that everyone talks about is sriracha. Now, it's really funny how popular sriracha is these days. I grew up, this was always on my table. I actually grew up thinking it was a Vietnamese condiment. It's actually American. So the person who invented it and came up with it is a Vietnamese immigrant. And he decided to start his own business once he came to the United States and created sriracha. And of course, lots of people call it by rooster sauce. This is the original. So I don't buy anything else because I want to support this person. Uh, but you'll see lots of uh, knockoffs out there. Stick with the original. So sriracha tương ớt. Sriracha tương ớt means uh, tương means sauce and ớt means pepper. So it's a um, pepper sauce. Uh, and another kind of sriracha that you don't see a lot is this chili paste. And I actually use this when I'm doing stir fries uh, or you know flavoring soups and things because I kind of like the just the the texture. So if you look at it so it's, you know, it looks like ground up chili peppers. There's bits and pieces in there. I think it's a little bit spicier than the sauce. So this is my favorite. I mix this up in soups, uh, definitely stir fries, fried rice, anything that can be cooked, uh, like a fried noodle or anything like that, okay? It smells nice and spicy. All right, another staple, and I'm always sad when I run out of this, but I finally bought a new bottle. It's fish sauce. So in Vietnamese, we call it nuk mam. Okay, nuk mam. And growing up, my parents bought, uh, you might see the one with the squid on it, the squid brand is what we call it. And once I, uh, you know, got out on my own and started studying more Vietnamese recipes, okay. I discovered um, there's different levels. So it's there, it's fermented fish. So they put it in barrels, they ferment it, and this is the sauce that comes out. And it's very pungent. So it's a very strong, strong, flavor and strong smell. Um, this is called um, the Three Crab brand. So, Viet Hung Hill. Ba con cua, so cua is crab. And the I find this at my, you know, normal, my regular Asian market. You're probably not gonna find it in a regular grocery store. And you want something called nuk mam nhi. So nhi means first. So this is the first pull from the barrel. So usually the whatever's left over, they water it. You know, after they pull this out, they water down, the, add more water to the barrel, and let it ferment a little bit more. And they'll they'll you know take another, and then that's another nuk mam. If the quality is not as good, uh, nuk mam. When you buy it, you want it to be really salty and a little sweet, and that's what I like about this kind. Ah, I will confess. That I ran out a couple weeks ago and I did not want to drive all the way to my Asian market so I bought what was at my regular grocery store and it's Kame brand fish sauce. Now as soon as I opened it I could tell it wasn't very good because it's just really fishy and there's no um, sweetness or depth to the scent and when you taste it it's pretty much the same thing. So uh, start with a high quality fish sauce. You know this bottle was probably four bucks at the grocery store, regular grocery store, and this bottle was three bucks at my Asian Mart. So obviously this is gonna last you a long time because most recipes only call for a tablespoon or two at a time. So buy the good stuff, it'll last you a while. Now the condiment that I need the most after those two is hoisin sauce. So it's like, a, it's a soybean paste that's really sweet and it's also garlic and vinegar in it. So what you'll taste most is the sweetness. And it's just a thick brown sauce and you can smell the soybean in here. So it's, it's just really thick. I wouldn't eat this all by itself. It's really good for marinades. Um, add a little vinegar, vinegar to it so you get that salty, 
um, vinegar and fish sauce to the marinade. You get the salty, sweet, and um, tangy. All right. I use poison a lot for uh, for the spring rolls or what some people call summer rolls. So that's the ones that are not fried. And I make the sauce, the peanut sauce that everyone raves about is actually hoisin sauce. Mix with a little bit of lime juice with crushed peanuts on top. And some restaurants will just blend the peanuts in with it because it's easier. So that's why you see a lighter color. So um, I actually never measure. My mom, when she taught me how to make the sauce for the summer rolls, she didn't, I didn't measure. She just said, put the lime in there, lime juice in there, mix it up, taste it, and um, you'll know when it's right. Like I said, you you figure out what you like and what you don't like. So those are the three, um, one, two, three, uh, four condiments that I always have in my Vietnamese pantry. And of course, soy sauce is the other one, but I think soy sauce that everybody should have these days. So, nuk mam. I have two kinds of sriracha, so the sauce and the paste, the garlic chili sauce paste, and poison sauce. All right, so. Uh, most of these you can get your regular grocery store, but take a trip out there to the Asian Mart and just stock up because these will last you for a while. Except for these, I always keep at least two extra jars in my pantry because the kids love it. All right, this is Kim with I'm Not The Nanny, and come back for the next one and I'll tell you more about spices.